Hello guys, welcome to our channel Inspiring Minds. Today's question comes from Simran and she is asking me what is the weightage of chemistry for the NEET exam. Hello Simran if you are watching this video. In this video we are going to discuss about the weightage of chemistry in general and also we are going to discuss about the important chapters of organic chemistry according to the marks distribution as chemistry is divided into organic inorganic and physical chemistry in this video i am solely going to focus on organic chemistry and also i am going to make two separate videos for inorganic and physical chemistry where i will be discussing the marks distribution and the important chapters which we need to read uh, for inorganic and physical chemistry we all know that every year 45 questions are asked in chemistry and each question consists of 4 marks so the total weightage for chemistry is 180 marks now let's discuss the distribution of organic inorganic and physical chemistry according to the analysis of last four years of paper so in aipmt 2013 56 marks of questions were asked from organic chemistry while 56 marks of questions were asked from inorganic chemistry and 68 marks of questions were asked from physical chemistry while in AIPMT 2014 44 marks of questions were asked from organic chemistry 76 marks of questions were asked from inorganic chemistry and 60 marks of questions were asked from physical chemistry in AIPMT 2015 the weightage for organic chemistry was 64 marks and the weightage for inorganic chemistry was 56 marks while the weightage for physical chemistry was 60 marks in NEET 2016 phase 1 the weightage for organic chemistry was 64 marks for inorganic chemistry it was 60 marks and for physical chemistry it was 56 marks and in NEET 2016 phase 2 the weightage was 60 marks for organic, inorganic and physical chemistry each. Now as we know the distribution of marks of organic, inorganic and physical chemistry is almost similar. We know that if a student wants to score good marks in the NEET exam he or she must focus equally on organic inorganic and physical chemistry but recently I got some queries in my mail and the students they asked me sir what if we are weak at organic chemistry or what if we are weak at inorganic chemistry what should we do so guys as there are just three weeks left for the NEET exam so we can't focus more on our weakness so first thing which you should keep in mind that you don't have to panic second you need to revise what you already know so that you don't leave the marks on the table like let's take this example if the student doesn't know organic chemistry then what he or she must do at this point of time first thing no panic second focus on inorganic and physical chemistry revise the important topics from those parts of chemistry and if you have some time left then focus on the most important chapter of organic chemistry which has the highest weightage that we are going to discuss in the further part of the video so you will see i will be showing you the chapters 
which has the highest weightage according to the marks distribution and each year like 16 marks of question or 20 marks of questions are asked from organic chemistry so of from that chapter so if a student has this fear in mind that what if i do inorganic chemistry and i do physical chemistry but somehow i want to score some more marks so where i can focus on organic chemistry and get the maximum marks in the least efforts so for that i i'm going to show you the chapters and we are going to discuss it now so without wasting any time let's get started general organic chemistry this chapter is the most important chapter according to the weightage and the marks distribution and if somebody wants to score more marks in less time then they can surely focus on this chapter now let's look at the marks distribution in the year uh, sorry in AIPMD 2013 and 2014 8 marks of questions were asked from this chapter each and in AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 phase 2 the weightage was 20 marks while in NEET 2016 phase 1 the weightage was 12 marks now let's move to the second chapter which is very important according to the marks distribution and uh, weightage biomolecules and polymer in AIPMD 2013 12 marks of questions were asked from this chapter while in AIPMD 2014 the weightage was 4 marks in AIPMD 2015 no questions were asked from this chapter in NEET phase 1 2016 the weightage was 16 marks while in NEET 2016 phase 2 the weightage was 8 marks now let's move to the chapter with similar weightage and importance aromatic compound and phenol in AIPMD 2013 the weightage for this chapter was 12 marks which reduced to 8 marks in AIPMT 2014 and which further reduced to 4 marks in AIPMT 2015. In NEET 2016 Phase 1, the weightage was 0, no question were asked from this chapter and again there was an increase in the weightage in the NEET 2016 Phase 2 and the questions were asked for 8 marks. Now from here let's move to the simple and easy chapters. Alcohol In AIPMD 2013, NEET 2016 Phase 1 and Phase 2, 4 marks of questions were asked from this chapter and in AIPMD 2014 and 2015, no questions were asked from this chapter. Now uh, let's move to Alkane, Alkene and Alkynes. In AIPMD 2013, no questions were asked from this chapter. In AIPMD 2014 and NEET 2016 Phase 2, the weightage, of, the weightage was 4 marks. And in AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 Phase 1, the weightage was 8 marks. Now let's move to Alkyl Halide and Aryl Halide. In AIPMD 2015, this chapter showed the highest weightage among all its year and the weightage was 12 marks and in NEET 2016 phase 2 the weightage reduced to 4 marks and in AIPMD 2013-2014 NEET 2016 phase 1 no questions were asked from this chapter. Now let's move to our next chapter carbonyl compound. In AIPMD 2013 no questions were asked from this chapter while in AIPMD 2014 and NEET 2016 phase 2 4 marks of questions were asked from this chapter 
while in AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 phase 1 the weightage for this chapter was 8 marks which brings us to our next chapter chemistry in everyday life this chapter uh, had the weightage of 8 marks in the year in A- AIPMD 2013 AIPMD 2015 NEET 2016 phase 1 while the weightage reduced to 4 marks in the AIPMD 2014 in NEET 2016 phase 2 no questions were asked from this chapter which um, brings me to the most easiest chapter of organic chemistry which is ether in the year uh, in AIPMD 2013 and AIPMD 2014 and NEET 2016 phase 1 The weightage for this chapter was just four marks, while in AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 Phase 2, no questions were asked from this chapter. Now let's move to the chapter nitrogen and its compound. In AIPMD 2013 and NEET 2016 Phase 2, the weightage for this chapter was eight marks, which reduced to four marks in NEET 2016 Phase 1. In AIPMD 2014 and 2015 no questions were asked from this chapter. Now uh, let's move to the next chapter nomenclature. 8 marks of questions were asked from this chapter in the year 2014 AIPMD exam while in all the other years no questions were asked from this chapter. which brings us to our next chapter practical organic chemistry in AIPMD 2015 only 4 marks of questions were asked from this chapter while in AIPMD 2013 2014 NEET 2016 phase 1 and NEET 2016 phase 2 no questions were asked from this chapter so now we have discussed the important chapters according to the weightage and the marks distribution so we know the important chapters on which we need to focus more on and the chapters which we need to avoid so that we don't waste our time behind those unwanted chapters okay and now if any students who want to score more mark in the neat exam i would like to say please put more emphasis on the chapters which have more weightage and which are important according to the marks distribution which we have discussed now and please keep this in mind that the teacher who sets your neat paper has one pattern to follow and they follow the same pattern every year so if you will follow this pattern this is going to help you in the future and things will be more simple for you so i hope this video was helpful for you guys and uh, if you like this video then please share this video with your friends and uh, <clears throat> if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe and uh, i will be making more such videos for you in the future too and don't forget to stay tuned for the next part of this video in which we are going to discuss more about inorganic chemistry and the important chapters and the marks distribution so see you next time guys